Picture this, athletes dedicating their entire lives to one moment, one shot they get every four years. The pressure is immense, the anticipation palpable, and the entire world is watching their every move. Now, let's contrast that with the grueling 82-game marathon of an NBA season. It is self-evident that winning an NBA title is a great achievement. However, NBA players have repeated attempts to win that title over their lifetimes. It's as if you are given an infinite number of chances to play a video game. Stuck or plateauing? Oh well, try next season with a new strategy. But the Olympics, it's different. For the athletes, the chance comes once every four years. It's similar to waiting for your all-time favorite show to air a new season every four years. An NBA championship is won over the course of a season. Michael Jordan had six of them. But if you look at the number of opportunities each season offered him, you might get a different opinion. If he were instead chasing Olympic gold, he'd have to peak every four years. Essentially, the time is now, or it's never. Talk about pressure. The NBA is primarily a league consisting of teams from the United States, although these teams have players from across the globe. But the Olympics? That's like the dinner of champions, a universal potluck dinner with people from all over the world contributing their best dish. An Olympic gold, therefore, is evidence of being the best globally, not just the best in a specific league. Do you recall the Beijing Olympics in 2008? The US team, coined the Redeem Team, was representing not just the NBA, but the United States of America. The tension was high. Winning the gold was a statement to the world. We still got it. The Olympics keep the world together, even those countries that cannot stand each other. It's like a reunion of a huge family in which everyone happily greets each other, the coming together of athletes from different parts of the world via the parade of nations during the opening ceremony gives a sense of global togetherness that has no place in the city-based competitiveness of the NBA. Moreover, the Olympics are full of beautiful stories because each team represents a country. Every victory and loss tells a unique story, be it an underdog tale, a story of comeback, or the raw spirit of humanity. The Olympics evoke emotions akin to cinematic sob films, with the expectation of bittersweet outcomes. Take the example of Derek Redmond. In the 1992 Barcelona Olympics, Redmond tore his hamstring during the semi-finals of the 400-meter run. Despite the injury, he refused to pull out of the race, dragging himself to the finish line with the help of his father. This moment of determination and familial love touched many hearts worldwide, and became one of the highlights of the Olympics. Such raw and unfiltered emotions are unusual in the NBA, an organized platform that focuses mainly on strategy, sports analytics, and finances. The Olympics are not simply a sports competition. They are a cultural event. It's a time when the host city and country showcase their cultural and historical achievements. The opening and closing ceremonies are creatively orchestrated presentations that captivate the world by fusing sports and performance with culture. However, the NBA Finals, as crucial as they are, do not feature such cultural and global significance. For instance, take the Beijing Olympics held in 2008. The opening ceremony, choreographed by Zhang Yimou, was a grand spectacle showcasing Chinese culture, tradition, history, and technology. It drew billions of spectators globally and left a memorable mark not limited to the world of sports. Individuals from the Olympic Games and the best basketball players can earn money, but the ways they do so can be very different. Current basketball players are paid relatively high incomes, including salaries and endorsements, throughout their playing years. On the other hand, many Olympic athletes spend several years training for the Olympics without the hope of getting rich relying instead on sponsorships and grants from their country's sports associations. Overall, one must consider that most Olympic athletes work hard financially and make significant sacrifices to qualify for the Olympics. A real-life example of this is Michael Phelps, the swimmer who has won the most Olympic medals. Nevertheless, his story includes many financial challenges, such as sponsorship difficulties at the beginning of his career. The financial concerns and struggles faced by many Olympians reflect the sheer commitment necessary in the quest for Olympic gold. It's as if one saves their entire life to buy that car of their dreams, only to discover they have to win a race to own it. 
Another symbol connected with the Olympics that unites people worldwide is the Olympic torch relay before the opening ceremony. The tour around continents and countries demonstrates the global nature of the Olympics and the unity of people. This symbolism is unparalleled in any other sporting event, even the NBA Finals. For instance, the 2000 Olympics torch relay in Sydney involved more than 14,000 torchbearers and covered approximately 27,000 kilometers from Greece to Sydney via Guam, including many countries and many towns in Australia. This journey of global neighborhoods coming together to celebrate was filled with the Olympic spirit and anticipation, which the NBA Finals cannot provoke despite their significance. The Olympics can be very beneficial to cities and countries as they can promote development, tourism, and international recognition. The impact of the games on the host city can define the city's future and self-pride. Unlike the NBA Finals, which are important but do not have a substantial impact on host cities, the Olympics leave a lasting legacy. The 2012 London Olympics brought a wave of investment that breathed new life into East London, morphing it into a contemporary urban marvel. The legacy of the Games goes beyond sports, enhancing local conditions and giving the economy a robust boost via tourism. On the other hand, the NBA Finals, despite being hosted in different cities annually, don't wield such transformative power, underscoring the Olympics' unparalleled impact. It's like comparing a neighborhood block party to a global exposition. The scales of influence are worlds apart. Salt Lake City also reaped substantial benefits from hosting the Winter Olympics in 2002. The event spurred major infrastructure improvements, including transportation upgrades and the construction of world-class sporting facilities. These enhancements not only supported the Games, but also provided long-term value to the city's residents and businesses. The influx of tourists and global attention gave the local economy a significant boost. While both an Olympic gold medal and an NBA title represent pinnacle achievements in the world of sports, the Olympic gold carries a unique weight due to its rarity, international scope, and profound cultural impact. Olympic athletes face the immense pressure of peaking every four years, competing on a global stage that unifies diverse cultures and showcases the collective spirit of humanity. Unlike the recurring opportunity to win an NBA title, the once-in-a-lifetime nature of the Olympics, combined with its rich symbolism and transformative effect on host cities, underscores why an Olympic gold is often seen as a more impressive and significant achievement. If you enjoyed this, check out the other videos below for more captivating comparisons on current topics.